Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be looking at the Winter Lit Joy Young Adult Book Box Crate. Take two. <laughs> I actually did film this box the other day but all of those videos came out slightly blurry and I just wanted to redo them so that the quality of the video was better. And I'm also really sad about that because that means my hair has to be down and it's not the adorable braid that Charlotte gave me for my filming day. But I mean, it is what it is and we are just gonna run through this quickly. So the Lit Joy Young Adult Book Box Crate is $34.99 a quarter plus shipping. It'll come with a newly released young adult book plus goodies that kind of match the theme of the book, I would say. Usually they will read the book and then find inspiration from other books that have storylines that are similar and kind of give you fandom type items. That's a little bit how it works. You may have noticed that I said the winter box, and that's correct, it is the winter box. It took a very long time to get here, but I do think the delay was part of the book itself. So sometimes boxes, like book boxes, will send out the box and then just send a missing item out later at a different time if it's gonna be very delayed, but this one, the book itself was delayed, and because of that, the whole book box got delayed. I don't think it was the only thing that was delayed, but I know that that was part of it. Let's go ahead and open up this winter box in June. I think all of my information for this box is at the end when I repacked it, so I'm just gonna kinda go over the items. This is a really cool looking sword. It's kind of shiny, and it's a letter opener. So I thought that that was a really cool letter opener to have. It's not too sharp, so you don't have to worry about keeping it put up from kids. I mean, it is a little sharp, so you don't want it around, I guess, a lot of toddlers, but it's not like, it's not breaking my skin sharp, you know what I mean? I can't remember what book it was inspired by by now, but I'll go over all those details at the end. The next item was this really pretty satin case and it has a little tiara or a crown all over it. I loved how that kind of went with the theme because I do think the theme was Rise of the Queen. But it had this eye mask inside of it. It is so pillowy and so soft. I think it is made with satin. It has a picture of the tiara on it and it says, do you think the ability to sleep in counts as a special skill? And what I said when I filmed last time was it could count as a special skill, especially if you have a lot of loud noises going on around you. All right, the next item was this mirror, which reminded me of Mirror Mirror on the Wall. And that was part of the inspiration they were going for, but not all of it. It actually has another meaning to it. But I really loved it. It's kind of dark and twisty. I don't know how reflective that mirror is, but I love the different curves that it has going on it. And then it says Queen down here at the bottom, and you have a crown up here at the top. I thought it was a really cute mirror for someone to put on their vanity or anywhere else they want to have a tiny mirror. I also forgot that the satin sleep mask came with a satin scrunchie that has little tiaras all over it. This one has an adventure card. It has three different people on it from Legendborn. I'm not familiar with that book or a series, if it is a series. Lit Joy Crate used to do these cool looking photo strips and like they were like photo strip bookmarks or at least I like to use them as a bookmark but they don't do that anymore they've switched to these adventure cards which the adventure cards are pretty cool it tells you about the character who's in the picture where the photo strip did not if you didn't know who it was you would just kind of be guessing sorry it is really hot I'm really starting to wonder if my AC is not turned on. The next really cool item was this coaster in the shape of a rug, which really gave me vibes from Aladdin, but I'm sure that there was a book that went along with this as well, and I love how soft the rug itself feels, but at the bottom it's more textured to help keep the rug from sliding around all over the place. And then the last item in here was this teeny tiny candle, it says Warrior Cream, and it's a pomegranate, amber, cedar, and patchouli exclusively made candle. Has a nice little color inside there. I can still smell it today. I was excited I was able to smell it the other day, and I can still smell it today. I think the most, the strongest sense I'm able to get is the amber and the cedar. I'm not getting too much of the pomegranate, but I'm sure that it's in there and the smell may change as it burns because you know candles have two different smells, the smell when you first get them and then the smell when you burn them. I was slightly disappointed with the size of this candle because it looks to be only a two ounce candle. 
And I've just come to expect in most subscription boxes, if you're getting a candle, it's at least a four ounce soy wax candle. And this one is like half that size. So I kind of wish that they had upped it just a little bit to kind of keep on trend with you know the quality of candles that other boxes put out but i still love the smell of it and the last thing in here besides going over all the information is the book and it is inside this red lit joy crate book sleeve and they give you a book sleeve for every single young adult book crate that you get and the color of it changes so i think this is the first time i'll get a red so here's the book it's called this woven kingdom by tahiri Mafi. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. She is a New York Times bestselling author of the Shatter Me series. I have not read that series, but I think I have heard of it because it sounds very familiar. The praise for this book says, prepare to be destroyed. This one will wrench at your heart and make it pound, and in the end, it will leave you entirely speechless, which is um, exciting. That's kind of some of the stuff you want in a really good book. Also, this book was actually signed by the author. That is not typical with Lit Joy Crate, or at least it hasn't been typical in the past. Usually you'll get a book plate with the signature on it. This one, it is signed directly. I think they worked specially with this author and then maybe because the book was so delayed, they decided to go ahead and sign it. I don't remember all the details that went with that. To all the world, Eliza is a disposable servant never to be known for who she really is, the long lost heir to an ancient Jinn kingdom. She is hunted always, forced to hide in plain sight, lest she expose herself to danger, until one day she makes a mistake. The crown prince, Cameron, has heard the prophecies. He knows of the fearsome monster promised to kill his kingdom. Darkness is fast descending upon his empire, driving Cameron to desperately seek out its source. But as he grows ever more suspicious of the servant girl with the strange eyes, the more he learns about her and the harder it is to turn away. Even if falling for someone like Eliza means forfeiting everything he's ever known. This woven kingdom is a story of clashing empires, forbidden romance, and a long forgotten queen who must claw her way through darkness to reclaim her throne, rebuild her kingdom, and save her people from the half lives they had been forced to live. Which does sound like a really intriguing book. I do kind of like books that have like the kingdom genre, or it's not necessarily fairy tale, but I do like monarchy type stories. Oh, and this one does have a different book sleeve or a book cover on the back. The book itself says live in the light without fear. And then the back of the book cover or dust jacket is this photo, which is probably Eliza and Cameron. Looks like they're at a dance. Quick little overview of the items since I didn't have it with me in the beginning. Golden letter opener. No one knows that Eliza in the Woven Kingdom has a warrior's heart, but when she uses her gift to protect a young boy, she reveals her true self. Though she doesn't use a weapon, feeling powerful while wielding a sword is just what any warrior needs, even if it is just to open your mail. And I can't wait to use that. I've seen my kids struggle to open mail. And sometimes I do too, if it's like really sealed. So I will like having that around. The next thing was the Crown of Feathers candle. So just like all Jinn, Eliza is required to give up or hide the unique abilities of her race in order to blend in with humans and keep the peace. Eliza has to decide if that fate is worth fighting against. And then we have the Selection Sleep Mask set. Now you can feel like you're living luxurious life of royalty with this sleep mask set inspired by the selection. Even though in the Woven Kingdom, Eliza appreciates gorgeous fabrics and designs just like this silly sleep mask, scrunchy and satin bag. Darling, you'll sleep perfectly tonight wearing your crown. The next item was the rug and that was inspired by the Wrath in the Dawn. It says, step inside a whole new world with warm golden sand while you enjoyed spiced wine on an Arabian night. The Wrath and Dawn inspired rug is a perfect place to set your drink while you read of far off places. The fairest mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all. Eliza has to keep the top half of her face hidden under a veil 
while she works as a servant so many don't know the true beauty she has. Queen Leviana in Ferris has quite an opposite life because she hides her true blemished face using a glamour. This was a resin framed mirror inspired by the book Ferris, and it needs no glamour to show its beauty or the intricate design, which is really cute. And then the adventure card was Bree Nick and the name I can't pronounce. Eliza has been forced her whole life to hide from Jen heritage and magic. Similarly, in Legend Born by Tracy, Brie has to discover her heritage and magic and whether or not she is going to hide from it and embrace it. So that's kind of what I was talking about there. They read the book, they take inspiration from other books who have kind of similar storylines where, you know, she's hiding her face and this other one also had to hide her face. You know, just stuff like that. And that's kind of how you get the theme from Lit Joy Crate. It's been a great box. I was pretty happy with every item in it. I think we have some unique and cute items in here. Some of them are more display, but can also be usable. The sleep set is usable. The candle is burnable, but I do wish it was slightly bigger. And the little rug, magic carpet, coaster I think is a clever idea. Uh, I wish there was two. I always wish there was two coasters whenever we get coasters in a box because I just feel like they should come as a set, but that's just my own personal opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already, and I'll see you soon. Bye.